Today is June 19, 2024. The current time is 7.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Before I give you this message from the Lord, the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you to go ahead and test the Spirit, but in order to test the Spirit, you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be able to confirm or deny the word that you heard today, um, either in your own personal prayer time, while you are meditating on God's word day and night, um, or you can ask the Holy Spirit directly, Holy Spirit, is this coming from you? Um, and what do I need to take away from this word? What do I need to know personally for me um, in the days ahead? This is what the Lord said. Foolish nation, are you so blind that you cannot see? Your leaders have gone to great lengths to keep you distracted, using the media to lull you to sleep. O oh, sleeping giant, how great you are in your own eyes. I fed you from my storehouses. You always had more than enough, a surplus of resources and abundance. You flourished and thrived. You were mine and I looked after you. I took care of you. I sustained you. I even won your wars. You were protected, sheltered, covered, kept from harm. But you, O oh great nation, ignorant and blissfully unaware of your upcoming demise, you became greedy. Your greed made you ungrateful. Your ungratefulness turned into entitlement. And soon you became puffed up, so full of yourselves that you forgot about me. I gave you water for your thirst, lush pasture for your animals to feed on. I filled your land with trees of every kind. I let you live in houses you did not build, and on land you did not till. You ate the harvest of another, partaking in the fruit of their labor. O oh, America, what is this you have done? You started worshiping other gods from the heathen nations who were already under my judgment. You offered your praise to them, your evening sacrifices to gods that are no gods at all. How foolish! You began bowing to the very stars I call by name. The two great lights I made to rule the day and the night. You sought counsel from stars and planets. You offered up sacrifices to Baal for never-ending beauty, youthfulness, fame, influence, riches and power, storing up your treasures on the earth so your treasures will be plundered. I will put an end to your vanity. You will be stripped of everything you thought made you beautiful. You have trusted in a lie, a falsehood, an illusion. Do you not see what is happening, what you have become? Your wickedness has no end. Its depths are a bottomless pit. Who can wash away the stain of your transgressions now? I gave you a way out of your deception depravity, perverse, and adulterous ways. My kindness was meant to draw you to repentance. O oh, unrepentant nation, have you no shame for how wretched you have become? Your consciences are seared. You call good evil and evil good. Is there no end to your depravity? Your very own leaders have sold you like a common prostitute. Do you not see it? Of course you don't. The God of this world has blinded your minds. The spirit of the Antichrist is alive and well in this nation. Only a fool says there is no God. Your land is about to be invaded, except they're already here. Your leaders let them in. They sold you for a price because greed is a deep pit that constantly needs to be fed and is never satisfied. The roads have already been blocked off, do you not see? Of course not. You are sleeping. Did I not say be watchful and pray lest you enter into temptation? 
People were once in awe at the brightness of your rising. Now they will be in awe at the brightness of your burning. Whole cities will be engulfed in flames. There will be widespread panic, chaos, and destruction. Skyscrapers will be rubble and ash, homes destroyed, businesses wiped out. They will shut off the power to establish control. Martial law will be implemented. People ordered to stay in their homes. A nation who hated you will rule over you. They will take whatever they want, plundering all you own. The treasures you stored up will be taken from you, and you will watch it go, helpless to stop it. I warned you, America. I gave you plenty of time to repent and turn from your wicked ways, but you are a stiff-necked and rebellious nation. Will you still have no need of me when the abundance I provided is taken away? The fruit on the vine, the grain, the oil. Until there is nothing left, America will never be the same again. I, the Lord, have spoken. As I have purposed it, so it shall be. These are the following biblical confirmations that the Lord led me to shortly after receiving this word. I would encourage me, you in your own time to open up your Bible and read them. 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 17 to 18. 2 Kings chapter 17 verses 14 to 18. 2 Kings chapter 17 just verse 20. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 9 to 14. Ezekiel chapter 4 verses 16 to 17. Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 18 to 21. Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 8 to 11. Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. Numbers chapter 16 verses 29 to 32. And the last one is John chapter 14 verse 6.